Right, so here we have the dashboard. Um, I'm going to give you a quick overview of how the dashboard is set up and um, the interfaces, etc., and some of the functionality. So here, in the if you look on the top here, you will see that there is a uh, bar graph, and this is representing at the moment. It's representing the five minutes. If you look up top here, five minute chart. Um, chart or strengths and weaknesses with a 20 look back on the left hand side over here you have all the major currencies and these are the stripped out values of the currencies so it's if you take the euro for instance it's um, measured against every other currency so it'll be measured against the US dollar the Japanese yen the pound the Swiss the Canadian dollar the Aussie dollar and the New Zealand dollar and then we come up with one value, a uh, volatility value, um, which is then represented on this uh, chart over here. Uh, we can change this to any uh, uh, chart uh, or time frame, say a five minute or 15 minutes or one hour, four hour, or a combination of three time frames. Then if we look to the right here, we have uh, your commodities in gold and oil. And to the right of that, we have your main industries in the USA, the S&P 500, the NASDAQ and the Dow, and then in Europe we have the FTSE, the DAX, the Eurostox, the CAC and the SMI. Right, so that makes up the uh, top part of the chart. And the way you read it is, um, the colors that you're seeing, that's just um, intermediate colors. The ones that you want to focus on is when it's in red, okay, because that means that there's a lot of selling, or green, there's a lot of buying and the numbers that you see show you how um, much buying and selling are going on or the volatility that is going on in the market at that specific time on this time frame if we look on the bottom here this is the the heat map um, and you can see again these all the various colors and this gives you a indication of um, what is going on on all time frames all right so if we look for instance on the US dollar you can see across all time frames um, this this selling going on all right so from the one minute you've got a, a an index there of um, over 700 negative 700 so these are very high numbers it means there's a lot of selling going on on the US dollar um, and the, the total average uh, if, if it takes everything into account is minus 316 so that's very high um, and if you compare it to any of the others uh, okay gold is quite is, is also quite high and that shows you the correlation between the two ie when the US dollar drops gold normally rises um, and and conversely if, if we look at the there's been a quite a substantial rise in the stock market recently um, all the indices have been rising and Conversely, you will see that the Japanese yen normally falls on the back of that. Um, anyway, so just to get back to it, on the left here you have your, uh, your, your time frames from the one minute down to one day and then the average. And then looking uh, from left to right, you have your, a mirror of what is going on on top here. So New Zealand dollar, Aussie dollar, CAD, and so on. And then you just look down the various... Um, columns and you 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 will then match it up with the uh, time frame so that then gives you a very good idea of what is moving the market on every single time frame you don't have to have all these charts open and we can set um, alarms there's all sorts of things that we can do with this we can set how big we want the chart to appear um, if we go down here we have the various indices and this is where we can set the time frames on top for the chart so I can put in say a 15 minute and say a 60 minute if I want it then takes all three of those time frames and then aggregates it and then we can f put in various lookbacks uh, the further you go back the more you're going to get um, you know a move on the chart so it becomes more sensitive I can enable alarms 
so I can set an alarm. This G speak is just basically it talks back to you in an audible f format, and then you can have email set up as well. And then the alarms delay is in seconds, so it's 300 seconds, that's five minutes. Um, what that does is as soon as you set up your alarm, it doesn't go off all the time continuously, it'll look at it every five minutes. So the first one will go off, then it'll look and see. Has, has the criteria been met and it will it will then go off again after five minutes so it will tell you precisely what these levels are so you can set up so if you wanted to see a level say on the S&P 500 at, um, on the five minutes and you wanted to know when it reached say 200 you would just set it up and put in on the upper level 200 and then on the lower level um, negative 200 if, if those were the levels that you were looking at Okay, so it's got all the, the various um, currencies there, and then this user level, that that would be where you set up things like the S&P 500 or all the indices, you, you could put that in over there. And then you can activate the, the various um, heat map on the bottom, so if you don't want to see all these time frames, you just activate which one, that's a 5 minute, you've got a 1 minute there, you just then set that to true or false and it will then um, activate that particular time frame. Alright, so this then gives you a very good view in terms of correlation uh, trading, uh, strengths and weaknesses and it can be used in a multitude of ways. Um, it can be used for from scalping to day trading to position sizing to forms of arbitrage. There's, there's um, a multitude of ways that, that this can be used to trade. So that's, um, that's it in a nutshell. Okay, in addition to everything that I've shown you here, we're busy with a total uh, remake or a recoding of the Forex dashboard and what it's going to be incorporating. And it's really exciting, groundbreaking um, stuff. What we're going to do is incorporate all of the current functionality it, it'll look uh, different to what you're seeing what we're looking at doing is putting in um, in dials so you'll see uh, speedometers with all of the, the various uh, levels that uh, or volatility levels that you currently see and that'll it'll, it'll be on all the time frames and um, all the various currencies and commodities and uh, indices that you see as well. You'll you'll have a lot of uh, functionality um, that you'll be able to go in and select how you want to see the information. But very importantly, the most important part about this is we're going to be able to trade this automatically. All right. So on autopilot, you will not have to watch all these levels or wait for a, an alert. You can either get an alert and then trade it manually. Or you can just wait for a volatility level to be hit and then it will trade it uh, automatically for you on your account. So for instance, let's just say um, gold for instance now, uh, we want to have a buy signal on, on gold. So gold hits a certain level, all right, and then we trade it, we trade it long. Or we can say, right, when, when gold is at a certain level, we want to use gold to trade the US dollar because we know that there is a correlation, a very high correlation between gold and the US dollar. Similarly, we know that there's a very high correlation between gold and the Aussie dollar. So we could use this as a correlation trading tool, either as a breakout on certain volatility levels or to trade the various correlating markets. Another example, if we see a lot of uh, trading going through on the stock market normally what happens is the Japanese yen uh, sells off so we could trade the crosses between the Japanese yen um, as a result of what's happening in the stock market so as the yen is say for instance the um, stock market is rising the yen is weakening we could be looking for trades long trades say on the euro against the yen or the pound against the yen or the Canadian dollar against the yen and you will be able to set all these various um, correlations up in the, in the trading tool and it will trade for you automatically. All right? Or we can just say, right, I want to trade the um, pound against the US dollar. 
So as soon as the pound hits a certain level long um, and the US dollar is at a certain level short, I want to trade it long or vice versa. When, when the pound is weakening and the US dollar is strengthening, I would like to trade it um, in, in a short position. Uh, there will be money management that will be incorporated um, into these trades. And the other thing that we're working on is also looking at historical levels. We'll be able to store all the information historically. So you'll be able to get uh, graphs of how the various um, currencies and commodities have performed. And you'll be able to overlay those um, on each other to see how they react at certain levels. Um, and this is very, very important uh, information because it allows you to trade it um, going into the future uh, when similar conditions are met. You will know that this in the past this is what happened and this is this is the outcome. Anyway, I just wanted to give you uh, some of the insights into our new trading uh, platform with the Forex dashboard that we are currently developing. We hope to have it ready within the next two to three weeks obviously have to do a bit of testing on it and there's going to be some really really exciting stuff happening there what we're going to be doing is um, if you would like to get this system totally free we will be offering it totally free to um, clients obviously with some conditions and if you want to find out more about these conditions you need to then um, contact me on the form uh, on, on, on this page there will be a, a, a button that you can then register uh, register on that, that uh, email for the free trial it will send me an email and with your details and then I will get in contact with you either via Skype or email um, or telephone and then we will be able to chat and I can tell you exactly how you can get hold of this amazing piece of software